It should have been a glorious moment for women's sports. Instead, Spain's FIFA's Women's World Cup winning moment was marred by this inexcusable kiss by Luis Rubiales, the president of the Spanish Football Federation. The kiss triggered outrage among football fans, politicians, and football officials from around the world who say FIFA must take action to take a stand against such harassment. Since then, Rubiales has attempted to brush off the kiss, and while he initially refused to apologize, he eventually did so after backlash continued to mount. Now, Spain's World Cup champion Jennifer Hermoso has joined forces with her players' union, which is investigating Rubiales under FIFA's code of ethics. She's demanding exemplary measures be taken after she was kissed on the lips without consent. The Spanish Football Federation also confirmed it will hold a general assembly following the actions of its president. And yet, fans say the silence from FIFA has been deafening. This is just one in various incidents that have highlighted the struggles of women in the world of football. On the eve of the final, FIFA chief Gianni Infantino became a global talking point after saying women should, quote, convince men what we have to do while discussing equality in the game. Responding to the developments, U.S. footballer Megan Rapinoe said women are playing two games at the same time. One, we're playing all against each other, and then the other one, we're playing together to win equality and progress and what we deserve.